in this video we are going to be doing charts so since we are done with our calculations I will hide this part now question number one says remove column D remember column D has text inside and we don't need this so what you guys need to do is click on the alphabet D right click and go to the option is that says delete your computer will automatically delete the entire column mainly because you selected the entire column if you for example selected only this portion till this portion right click go to delete your computer will ask you questions where do you want me to shift the next cells left right up or do you want to delete the entire column um so obviously it's best when you select the entire column so that your computer deletes the entire column or the entire row so that your computer deletes the entire row now it says now insert a pie chart using the following ranges a3 to a8 and e3 to e8 let me just quickly do this now you're going to firstly select your ranges this is obviously going to be from a3 you select from here going down up until a8 you're gonna go and click on the control button control allows you to only specifically lock on to that specific range and i said till uh, from e3 up until e8 so you're gonna go select e3 right up until you go to the option that says e8 now when you are done the next question says insert a pie chart you have to go to the insert tab there's a group called charts these different types of charts each and every single chart has a name this is a line chart or area this is a column chart or bar i'm looking for a pie chart so you click on the arrow next to pie i was not specific with the type of pie chart i want you have 2d pie charts and you have 3d pie charts i always like to go for the 3d pie chart so i go for 3d and i think i'm done with this little friend over here so when you are done i said insert insert a new sheet new sheets remember we currently have one sheet which is the change sheet click on the plus sign right over here and your computer will give you a new sheet my computer is becoming very very slow the new sheet is inserted remember because we are on a new page it's clean and there's nothing you need to click on change in order for you to be able to go back to what you had before now the question says move the chart to the sheet or to sheet two you need to click on the chart in order to find the two new tabs which is design and format if you don't click on your chart for example you will not have the two tabs which is design and format hence i said click on the chart this is the easiest route and the best route when you are done you go to the option that says design and then the question was move right here at the end there's an option that says move chart you click on the option that says move chart the chart is currently in the chart sheet I, object is currently in the change sheet now you want to obviously move this object and take it to sheet number two so you click on sheet one which is obviously the second sheet when you are done you click on ok and you'll see that your computer will automatically move the, the, the chart now sometimes you might be told Uguti, move the chart and position it in b4 for example that doesn't mean that the whole chart is supposed to fit inside b4 instead it means the first corner of the chart is supposed to fit into b4 and they might also even tell you uh, make it fit into the ranges of b4 and j26 so you're just going to properly position it using these little circles on the corners and the sides it will either increase the size or decrease the size according to what you want it to be now the next question there was rename the sheet to travel or as travel i've told you or told you this one before you double click backspace when you are done you are going to change this i think i said travel 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 chart remember what i said you're going to click inside the sheet to activate whatever it is that you're working with and your computer will tell you it is done when you are done with that now we go to the next question which says move the legends to the bottom let me just copy all this because i will not be doing the up and down right so now it says move the chart 
move the legends to the bottom now remember if you don't click on the chart you will not have options that will allow you to apply changes to the chart so step number one click on the chart and then you go to design 99 percent or 98 percent of the questions we ask are found under the design tab you go to the option that says add element and almost all your questions will be found here i said move the legend to the bottom they are already at the bottom so let's say your legends were somewhere else you're gonna go and click on the error next to legends you'll go to the option that says probably let's say we want it on the left hand side you click on left and you'll see that your legends are going to be moved to the left when you are done the next question says apply chart style number 10 so you go to the option that says chart styles remember each style has a name so the first one style number one style number two right up until we get to the one that i'm looking for which is chart style number 10 and you'll see that automatically the style comes with a certain type of format or theme around it now it automatically moves my legends to the bottom yet again and then when you are done i said apply your it's supposed to be a data call out so call out data labels you're going to go to the option that says data labels and i wanted the data call out when you click on the data call out you see that your computer is going to label your data right at the outer part of your chart the best fit obviously has it inside outside end is obviously on the outside end everything else makes sense if i said remove them completely you will go to the option that says none so you click on uh, data call out and this is what you guys are going to find remember there's a whole lot more for example if i was to ask you guys um to change the chart type i just want you guys to be aware of something let's say the chart type will be changed to a bar chart when you go to add chart element you'll see that there's actually now more elements that you guys can actually apply unlike when you had the pie chart you guys would see or you'd noticed that there's actually less options that you guys can apply my computer is starting to jam up so let me just quickly show you guys this you guys can see that when you have a, uh, a chart a pie chart these are all the options that you have and the other options are either inactive or they are not there so i hope this this three-part video helped you guys out we're going to obviously start with our exercises very very soon which is obviously going to be this week use this exercise type in the information and slowly go through the video and do everything that i do if i'm fast you know what to do you either slow up the video or you pause and replay over and over again good luck guys